Time now is 8.50. We have a pop pioneer on the sofa this morning, Howard Jones, whose trademark move was playing two synthesizers at the same time, celebrating 40 years since hitting the big time with his debut single, New Song. It was the start of an extraordinary run of 10 hit singles over just three years. Let's have a quick listen. <laughs> And Howard joins us now. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> have the years flown? Yes, they have. I can't believe it's 40 years since the, the release of New Song. I mean, uh, it's just flown by. So many things have happened. Great. We should say happy birthday to you, oh, shouldn't yeah. we? Because you had a birthday yesterday. Yes, I did. I did. And uh, I was driving up uh, here to Manchester in the car with my wife, Jan, and we were cranked up the the sound system and was listening to banging tunes. <laughs> out, of, out of curiosity, what were you yeah, listening, what are you listening to? to? Well, actually, there's this there's this um, thing I did uh, about at the early in, in the early '90s, which was a, a tour, and we were just kind of experimenting with electronic music, and I recorded it all live and then edited it together as one thing. It's called Peaceful Tour Live, and it's our favourite. Record of mine. So you're listening to your own stuff. Yeah, and, and it, it was, I got to say, it was Jan's in, saying, I really want to listen to this. So Jan said it, not, it wasn't me. Yeah, that that'd be a bit weird. That. That's so nice <laughs> that your wife is saying on your birthday, yeah. let's crank up your yeah. music from yeah. 30 years ago. Yeah, because I hadn't, I hadn't listened to it for like ages, so it was great to hear it again. Oh. Does it seem odd? <laughs> you know, we, we were playing some of the old stuff there, and I know yeah. you, you're, yeah. you're working still, and we'll talk about the new material later. Yeah. But what's it like watching that back? Um, you know, now I'm 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 really really comfortable with it because it's like my history, and I'm sort of proud of, of those of, of those days and that we were doing something different, and the looks and the clothes and you know the, just the way the music was was made. So, Look at you there. Yeah, I know, I know. I so know. you say like, you're comfortable watching it now. Was there yeah. a period where it yeah. was a little bit that, that's cringy? That's right. That's right. Where where it feels oh you know uh, uh, it's too, it's too close. But now I can watch it. It's like almost like a different person, a younger version of myself. Uh, and people uh, will have noticed, and uh, you've probably had to go through this a million times, mm -hmm. just explaining. The character who was dancing on stage with yeah. you, which yeah. sort of became a kind of like almost iconic oh, kind of yeah. character. Well, yeah. Just explain to us what that well, was. Well, Jed, you know, um, was a big part of the early show because I was doing the one-man show, and Jed was the, the the character that was kind of you know expressing what the songs were about visually, and we, it was like a sort of performance art thing. And I, th I think when we first, you know, did that pop, uh, Top of the Pops show, and, and yeah. it just blew people away because it was something so different. But that's what we were doing you know, out in the clubs and the pubs, the marquee club and all that, you know. It's like it, a forerunner to Bez from the Happy Monday. <laughs> yeah, people have, people have said. That, they were, yeah. they were uh, kind of uh, funny times around mm. then, weren't mm. they? Lots yeah. of different kinds of music yeah. knocking yeah. around. I'm mm. always fascinated by backstage at Top of the Pops when yeah. you were... There were other bands, and whether you got on with everyone, and you know the, how, how the rivalries yeah. were. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, I mean, I didn't. I was just grateful to be there at all. You know what I mean? I wasn't bothered about competing with anybody. I was like so pleased that I got signed, and I was and I was able to do. I mean, I didn't. I didn't feel any. You know that kind of rivalry. I was just pleased to meet all the people I was seeing on top of the pops. You know, Duran and uh, you know George Michael and 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 actually just getting to meet those people. So, um, but it, everything was so hectic for everyone. There was very little time to do that to hang out anyway. It so. seems hectic because I'm just thinking mm. about pop stars now and their yeah. release of singles and albums. Yeah. It's a bit yeah. more protracted. Was mm. you ten top forty mm. singles mm. in the mm. space of three years? That yeah. is full mm. on. Yeah, yeah, it was, it was, it was pretty, it was pretty fun. I don't think uh, every single day, including Christmas Day, we were working and doing something. But I'm, I'm, I tell you, I wasn't, I wasn't complaining because I was so pleased to be, to be doing it. Did you have a career before music? Did you? <laughs> no, it's only I was just a one-trick pony. Me, I was just like um, I always wanted to do music, and I worked in a factory just to earn money. I taught piano lessons. I, I I did anything to earn money just to so there are, there are, the there are people out there who were taught uh, how to play the piano yeah by how yeah you? I mean I did I have to admit I did fall asleep a few times during those lessons <laughs> during your own lessons yeah t yeah because I was working in the factory during the day doing about three jobs 
and I'd just like nod off because they hadn't done their practice. Anyway, sorry about that. <laughs> Got to practice. I'm sure Got to practice. <laughs> well, so much of success is that commitment, isn't it? That graft yeah. that you put in, and yeah. you're still putting in. You're going on tour this autumn. Yeah. Yeah, well, I think, you know, it's, I've always f felt that, you know, if, you, if you're going to be an artist, you have to, you know, keep working at it every day, play, play, sing, do all the stuff. And, um, you know, I, I love what I do. And I, what I want to do is to give people a boost with the music because, you know, we're living through really difficult times and music can really lift people's spirits. And that's what I've always wanted to do right from the beginning, even with new, new songs. You know. I think we can hear uh, some of the new material right now. So, so look. Of all the people in the world, why would you choose me? Do you know who you sound a bit like on that? Uh -oh. This is a good thing. <laughs> like Morrissey, oh. I'm a big fan. And I was right. listening to your music last night because I was born in 1980. I was very young when oh, right. you had that Fantastic. quick succession of yeah. singles. But then I was thinking about the 90s and New Order yeah. and Joy Division and, yeah. and you can hear you in yeah. that. Yeah, well, I, I mean, you know, I was just um, very excited to to just be working with electronic music and synths. And, and I, lots of people have told me that that did have an influence on them, you know, with their, with, the, with their work, which is, which is great. But I was just, just following my nose and my heart with like, I wanted to make music that maybe had not been heard before, sounds that hadn't been heard before, ways of doing things that weren't rock and roll, you know, and something different, so. Who would be an unlikely person that we might have heard of who, who said that their Howard Jones inspired them? Um, well, there's um, there's a guy. There's a, a, I, I don't know if you know this um, this gentleman. He's an American electronic artist called BT, and he's like one of my favourite contemporary artists. And he he told me that, and that was like, and we've since been collaborating. In fact, we collaborated on that track. We just saw, yeah. What's that like when it's an artist you admire, say, yeah. and you're part of my history? Yeah, well, it, it, it's, it's, really, it's really great. I think there's a great sort of synergy between, I know, a great bond, and, uh, and the music that we've, you know, we've collaborated on has been really quite powerful, yeah. Uh, good luck with the tour. Lovely to see you, you this morning. Happy birthday for yesterday. Thank you so much, yeah, Tom. Uh, tickets for Howard's tour on sale from today. Uh, you're watching BBC Breakfast. It's 8.59.